Hey, Boo friends and family, what's up? It is Adrian, hope you're doing well, hope this finds you well. Uh, I'm here in my home, I'm chilling in my living room, and I thought uh, I'd put together a little video for us. You already know, uh, Vu is dropping content every single day, we're calling them COVID hacks. In this season, when we're at home, we're talking about how do we uh, leverage this time and make this time the best that we possibly can. And today, I wanna drop a little hack on you pertaining to how to read your Bible. Listen, I think that this season that we're in, where we're working from home, where we are practicing social distancing for the moment, and we are staying inside our homes, it is a fantastic opportunity for all of us really to be diving into our Bible more. Maybe you already dive into your Bible a ton. Uh, this is a time for you to get even deeper into your word, but maybe you've had a Bible in your bookshelf for a long time. You've had a Bible uh, by your nightstand for a long time and you haven't actually picked it up and read it. Say that's cool. Let's change that today. Let's start picking up our Bible and diving into it. And I get the question all the time from people, Adrian, how is it that you read your Bible? Or I wanna, I wanna go for it, I just don't know how to start. Or I want to go for it and I know what book I want to start with. I just don't necessarily know how to interpret it. I don't know what uh, my action plan should be. Today, I want to give you a little hack, a little cheat code that has helped me and Michelle in our home personally dive into our Bible and really helped us interpret the Bible, not only what's being said in it, but also how it impacts us in our present day lives. And it's this acronym called SOAP. Everybody say SOAP. Ready? One, two, three. Good, good. I hope you said it because I can't hear you, but I hope you said SOAP. Um, SOAP, it's an acronym. S-O-A-P. Scripture, observation, application, and prayer. If you've come to VU before, you've done this. We do this uh, about two times a year where we pick a book in the Bible and we actually SOAP journal through it. But I know a lot of people that are watching uh, may have never been a VU before or uh, you may have not heard this before. So it's super simple, but it's something that's helped me that I want to teach you how to do. So you need two things. I want you to create a checklist. First thing that you need is a Bible. So hopefully you have a Bible at home. If you don't, that's cool. Thank God for technology. You're able to download a Bible onto your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever you want. I would recommend going to the app store and downloading the YouVersion Bible app. Shout out to Life Church for inventing that. We love you guys. Uh, but if you get that, then you'll have a Bible readily available. Second thing that you need is a journal. I've got my VU Church Notes journal here. You can pick whatever journal you want or you can pick a napkin, whatever you want to do. I would recommend picking a journal and dedicating that to uh, your Bible study. So you've got your notebook, you've got your Bible, and here's what we need to do. We need to now pick a scripture verse. So a lot of people ask, how do I pick a scripture verse? Well, there's some easy ways to do that. Uh, number one, I would recommend to just picking a book in the Bible. We're going to be dropping another hack soon on how to pick books, and we're going to be dropping more information on summaries about books, which is really cool, books in the Bible specifically. Um, but I would just recommend that you pick a book and you start working your way through it. Literally pick one and start with verse one and then work your way through the whole thing. Uh, but maybe you're not wanting to do that. That's cool. The Bible app, if you're on it, it drops a daily verse of the day. Uh, so you could use that. Maybe you've heard of a verse before from friends. Maybe uh, you're navigating through Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and you see somebody post a verse, you could pick that. Whatever it is that you wanna do, just pick a scripture verse. So that's the first thing. So I, I'm in uh, Jeremiah right now and I'm on Jeremiah 17 and the verse that I wanna pick is verse seven. So what I would do is I would read this verse and I would actually write it down in my journal. So the verse says, Jeremiah 17, 7, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. So that's my scripture for the day. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. So I'm going to open up my journal. I'm going to write down that scripture verse, and then I'm going to write an O for observation. So the question that I have to answer here is what am I observing from this verse? What is this verse saying? What is this verse uh, trying to teach? Well, if I read it again, but blessed is the one whose trust is in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. For me, what I'm observing is that if I trust in the Lord, if I put my confidence in the Lord, I will be blessed. So that is what I'm observing here. I trust in him, put my confidence in him, I'm going to be blessed. So that's what I'll write down. That's my observation. 
So I'll write down in my journal my observation. Then I'm gonna write an A for application. Everyone say application. Application, I hope you said it, because again, I can't hear you. Um, application, so the question that I'm gonna answer here is, how does this verse apply to my life? How does it apply to my present circumstance, real time? It's, it's cool to know how it applied back then, and that's important. We'll teach you how to do that also, but how does it apply right now, present day? Well, for me, right now, in the midst of this coronavirus, in the midst of this shift in our reality, the way that it applies to me is that if I put my confidence in God, if I put my trust in God, then I'm gonna be blessed even in this season. So I think in this season, it's different, it's new, it can be a little stress inducing, but what I have to remember is that God's word is telling me that if I put my trust in him and my confidence in him, I will be blessed. The verse goes on, verse eight, verse nine, 10, it's very powerful, which is why we wanna, we wanna soak through all of this so that you can just build on context and context and context and give yourself some more content to live off of. So that's my application, my application is, present day in the midst of this season, if I continue to trust in God, put my confidence in God, that I'm gonna be blessed. And then lastly, a P for prayer. So my recommendation is actually that you write out your prayer here, because it's gonna be cool when you look back on this a couple months from now, a year from now, a couple years from now, to look at what you were actually praying for when reading this scripture verse and what you were actually praying for in the season that you were presently in. So I would write down my prayer here and then I would actually go ahead and pray it. So I'm gonna pray just cause I've got you on here. Um, I'm gonna pray what I would like um, to pray for pertaining to this particular scripture verse. So wherever you're at, why don't you pray with me for a second. Lord, we, we thank you, God. We thank you for your word. We thank you that your word is alive and active, Lord, that it is sharper than any double-edged sword. That means that it is doing surgery on our soul. It's speaking to us, God. I'm praying that in confidence, knowing that that is true. And Lord, I'm praying that right now, uh, like Jeremiah 17, 7 is saying, that I can put my trust in you, I can put my confidence in you, and if I do so, I know that uh, you will bless me, that your, your intention is to bless me, to take care of me, to walk me through uh, the scenario, the season, and uh, my job, Lord, is faith and obedience. Your job is outcome. So I pray all these things to you, Jesus, in your name, and everybody said, amen, amen. Hopefully you prayed that along with me and hopefully that prayer rings true for you today also. So that's it guys, that's what you need to do. S-O-A-P, SOAPY, scripture, observation, application, prayer, and then make it a habit. Pick up a verse the next day and do it through that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming into my home, for tuning into this hack. Stay tuned tomorrow, we're gonna drop some more. It's gonna be a lot of fun. God bless you guys, take care.